Hey everybody, hope y'all are doing well. So as we're moving into this first week of 2023, one of the major themes I'm feeling, seeing and sensing, as well as hearing from others, clients, friends, and so on, is all the information that keeps coming in. Now I know I harp on that a lot because if you really think about it, Everyone's looking for new information to replace the old information, but it's still a lot of information. And a lot of it isn't even conceivable. It's not tangible. It's not verified. And it's drawing a lot of insanity to you. And it's creating a lot of angst and physical adjustments in the body. And it's creating feelings like irritability and frustration. And you can throw distrust in there if you choose to, but not trusting the umbrella underneath that is going to create angst and uncomfortability and so on. But so are the energy frequencies. <laughs> I mean... We live in the world of energy. Every time a star or a planet or a meteor or an asteroid or anything up there moves around, including the Earth moves with it, okay? It moves with it. And anything around it is going to be affected by the waves of the energy. So we're all getting affected especially if you go back and listen to my video of coming out of the dark era, going into the light era, you know, we're now in more of the, uh, um, being, what's the word? We're on the horizons of the light being more dominant. Okay. Now this has been a gradual thing that's been happening and it happens when we're moving into that. But in the meantime, we're in this transitional periodic mess of old programming that is just creating more of that um, mental uh, exhaustion, which then leaves the physical body not knowing if it's coming or going because it, it itself is going through um, its own cellular DNA changes and... So there's a multitude of metamorphosis happening, okay? And not everyone's coming out of it looking like a butterfly. We've got many different species coming out of this metamorphosis. And even as a human species, each human might be a little bit different because civilizations and things are up-leveling and changing. Now, my spirit guides were telling me, um, you know, the, there's a program going around that like every 26,000 years, the earth goes through this massive recycling, right? Okay, let's just say that's true. And then every 26,000 years through this recycling of itself, this merge, purge, cleanse, so much was wiped out and destroyed. And of course, the closest thing that many people have to look for that is the deluge, the, you know, Noah's Ark, that whole story. So now this time with the earth, the world, the earth going through its, its um, destruction and rebirthing, we're staying on it. So my guides were showing me that the DNA patterning might be Ooh, I'm going to go, you know, kind of thing um, without trusting the fact that you're really not going anywhere, not going anywhere. Even if you change forms, you're not going anywhere. Okay. You're perfectly safe um, where you are. And so I, in one of my sessions recently, we're talking about who cares which alien race is saying what? How does it help you be the best person you could be in this moment? Who cares about the agenda of what's been happening the last two years and more? 
there are teams of beings working on that aspect of it. There are teams of beings working on the political aspect of stuff. There are teams of being working on the banking aspect of stuff. There are teams of being working on the educational media and all that. So there's teams working on all sorts of things that might not be in the scope of say me, Sandra, physical being. And I don't really need to have my nose, my antenna up the asses of all these teams trying to figure out what everybody's doing because I'm part of the strategy, but I don't need to know the whole strategy right now because it's tearing me into pieces because I'm trying to gather all this stuff and none of it really makes sense to almost everybody. Everybody, almost everybody can say no, it doesn't because all the puzzle pieces haven't been shown to you. And you're not going to know what puzzle piece you are and what your paths, missions, gateways, portals are for you if you don't stay in with you and learn to develop your inner powers. Stop, drop, sit, connect with the breath. Know that you and your column of light are everything in this strategy of the bigger picture. But until you stop, drop, sit into this column of light and own the God source self of you in the universe, you're not going to really be able to develop your puzzle piece so that now you can be gliding along, learning all of your lessons, and then be placed into the place where your puzzle piece is supposed to be. And there may be many people out there with the exact same type of lesson in their puzzle piece that are going to land there with you. And then there's going to be others that are going to land over here. But the puzzle piece pieces will come together. They will come together. So my guides were saying, stop swallowing the frickola. Stop going in search of the Frickola. Stop taking it on and attaching yourself. And now you're carrying all this Frickola around and then you don't even know. It's really just totally jumbled up your own circuit boards. So you don't know if you're coming or going, what's true, what's not true what to do, where to go. So people are stop, drop, freezing. And then they're, they're just toddling through all this information and then they're even more confused. And I'm telling you now, if you want to connect within your own circuitry board, stop, drop, sit, connect with that breath, own that column of light, work from that heart space. Know that you are enough and that your puzzle piece is critical critical in this bigger scheme, in the bigger picture, in the bigger scenes. Can't stress that enough. So listen to the barometer of your body. Stop giving a larger percentage of your energy to the mental monkey mind. That is old programming. You're trying to figure out four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten grade levels of dimensional densities into a 3D mental monkey mind. And the monkeys are being joined by other monkeys. Be careful what you're taking in. Be careful where you're toddling and what you're giving permission to have more, more energy brought to it. <coughs> Delete. Take some retreat time. Take the next 30, 60, 90 days and retreat. 
get in here and work with all of this and select what you're allowing to take up prime real estate in your column of light. You hold the power, my friends. Quit swallowing the frigola. Please like, subscribe, and share. Leave me a comment. I love them all. Get into that column of light and stay there. Stay there. All right? If you need help, embodimentofthesoul.com. Let's get a session. Let's get you in that column of light so you can see, sense, and feel what that's like. Move forward from that space. And get rid of all the waste. Okay? So much love.